Hey guys, Mr. Moo here. Just had another baby calf born. Wasn't even expecting it. There's another one that looks pregnant and I thought she was gonna blow like any day now. But of course, that's not the one that gave birth. The one that gave birth is Thelma Lou. A little bit of an outcast, a little shy, not real social. And I was looking out the front window and it looks like she just dropped a nice little tiny calf. So headed out to sea. Looks like we have a brand new, <laughs> looks like we have a brand new baby girl here. Oh yeah, brand new. Hey, that was rude, don't push her over. She's trying to figure out who mom is. Mom is the brown cow right there behind the gray one. She's a little skittish. She is, uh, she's not an outcast, but she is not as social as the other cows are here. So I'm hoping mom is gonna take to the baby and vice versa. Oh, she's so cute. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, she's so adorable. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my God. I'm in love. Oh yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet girl. What? You my little angel? <laughs> So it looks like she just popped out maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes ago maybe. So I'm gonna back off right now and let mom bond with her a little bit because that's really important in the first few hours. There she goes, cleaning her up a little bit. That's awesome, that's a good sign. Great. Come on, mama, go get her. Yeah, I'm worried. If she doesn't attach and bond with the mom, that means she's not gonna feed, and that means I will be bottle feeding three times a day, which is awesome and a pain at the same time. So it looks like, it looks like they're starting to bond, which is great. The rest of the guys have kind of backed off a little bit, which is great. The bull is, yeah, he's, uh, I'm not sure what he's doing there. All right, so this is good news. Hi, oh, baby. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah, you're so pretty. Okay, mama and baby are just fine. At this point, I'm going to see if Nick, my Bulgarian shepherd livestock guardian dog, will help me get the other cows out of the pen. Hey, Bubba. What are you doing? Can I get you, I don't know, a glass of milk, cookies? You good? Okay, it looks like she's trying to figure out who mom is. Hopefully mom will step up. Mom, get in there. Come on, baby. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get them separated so they can be alone. Okay, now I'm trying to pull the other cows away from the new calf so they can bond back there. Hey, Dixie, come here. Come here, baby. Hey, hey, you with the horns. Here we go. Yeah, good stuff, huh? Come here, baby. I knew you like that. Come on. You go get your buddies and bring them over here. Go get your buds. Come in here. Hang on. Hang on. Well, it's not working out too well. There we go. 
There we go. Good girl, Dee Dee. Come here. You want this? Here. Go get it. Go get it. Nick, dude, do your job. Make them go in there. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Nick. That's all right, Nick. I got this. Really. You relax. <laughs> Nick. Really. I got this. Can I get you, I don't know, a glass of tea or something? So I finally got the rest of the herd separated from mom and the new calf, and they are out of sight, which is great. They're bonding way over on the other side. Looks like she's looking for a teat right now, which is great. All right. So it looks like we've had a successful birth here on a Saturday. Beautiful outside. It's about 62 degrees and sunny here in North Texas. And it's a great day. Got that foam around her lips. Oh, she is pretty Yep. You know what? If I were a girl, I'd probably be crying right now. I may cry anyway. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Anyway, just a really cool thing when you have a new baby cat, especially when they're about seven pounds. 